Hey there, fellow maker. Welcome to the shop. You've got Bill today. And this year, we're going to do some sewing. We have some costumes planned that are going to require the use of the sewing machine. And this is the machine we've had for about 10 years. It's a Janome. I want to say it was a couple hundred bucks, and it served us pretty well, but I've reached its limits. So I put together this bag here. This is one of Adam Savage's EDC bags. I bought the pattern and built this out of sailcloth. In fact, my dad races sailboats and I conned him into giving me one of his old sails. Then I cut it up and I turned it into a pair of bags and I gave him one for Christmas, which I thought was pretty thoughtful. This is mine. I really enjoy it. I think I might want to make another one out of this really, really rugged, like waxed canvas. This is what I bought to make the head strap part for my ecto goggles. And as you can see, I have a lot left. So I need a machine that can handle thicker, more durable material, maybe even leather. This sailcloth was especially challenging for this poor machine right here. It really struggled and there were some spots where I had to give up. For example, I hand stitched these little leather things here because the sewing machine just couldn't go through that. So we bought a new sewing machine. Let me show you the new machine. Out with the old and with the new. Lift with your legs. <laughs> That's right, we, uh, we splurged a bit and <laughs> got a sale right. Thing is, I have the opportunity to go visit some of my friends' shops, professional shops, and I get to visit Adam Savage's cave, and I get to play with all their tools and stuff, and then I want them. I want the very best, and that's what this is. And I gotta be honest, I'm a little intimidated. It's a little, uh, it's heavy, it's really heavy, and it has absolutely no chill. The uh, speed pedal is right here. And when you press it down this thing, here, let me plug it in. I'll show you what I mean. There we go. If I just touch this a little bit. It really goes. Here, let me get you a closer look. So this machine is amazing. I haven't really used it on a project yet and I'm gonna start using it soon. So what I wanna do is put something on the pedal here that limits how far down it can go and uh, hopefully it gives me a little bit of speed control. I wanna be able to jump into this gently. Uh, I wanna build a little screw thing that I can set a height on and lets this only go down yay far. Probably have to take this apart. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna make like a screw and a, a cool knob. Definitely gonna break out the lathe and some brass. Make a neat little thing for my expensive sewing machine. Of course, that's the first thing us makers do when we get a new toy, right? We instantly void the warranty by modifying it. My first thought is that we can put a screw right through here inside and it'll bottom out on this part here. If we take this thing apart, it's just like snapped together, which is pretty, pretty handy. What do we have there? Yeah, very simple little like potentiometer or something for the speed and then a spring there. And if I put a hole, a tapped hole right here, a screw could go in right there and it'll bottom out there. So this thing can only drop so far. I think that's pretty simple. We just need to put a tapped hole here and a screw in it, but I wanna make a fancy screw. All right, before I make a fancy screw, I'm gonna make a test on this normal screw here. In fact, I've already drilled a couple holes. I just forgot to record that. These are drilled and tapped. The first one was a little, little too far forward. It was running into this, but I have this other one that should be just right. And the idea, of course, is that this is gonna screw in and provide a stop for us. Once it's down far enough here, it'll provide the resistance we need. So let's try it. That's what we want. Proof of concept that totally works. I could just leave this as is, but I really want to play with my lathe and I want to make a nice big brass knob for that. I think it'll work out really well for us. That, that functionality is pretty perfect. 
Yeah. All right, let's go make a pretty thing. That's my knob all turned. It's a little little hefty, but uh, I wanted to leave a big chunk here so I could grab it and finish the end of it here. I'm happy with it. We're gonna attach the screw with a little Loctite. Just dribble a little bit down in there. That's more than a little bit. All right, and this goes. That's a lot, that's a lot of Loctite. It's probably too much. Clean that up a little bit. Give it a tighten. There we go, and that shouldn't escape. That should be good to go in our machine. Let's give it a try here. So that's gonna go in here. Well, that feels good. A lot of, lot of grip, <laughs> a big heavy screw. There we go. Plug that in. All right, little adjustment knob with a little like plus and minus. I'm probably just gonna set it to a speed I like and then just use it like that. I think that looks pretty cool, so long as we ignore the extra hole I made right there. Let's, well, this will be on the ground, we won't see it. Let's try and sew something. All right, here we go, I think we're all set. All right, let's give it a try. Well, I think our machine is oiled. There's oil all over my uh, thing. This is, we haven't really used this machine yet, so. <laughs> it's oily. But it worked, and that was a nice, gentle pace. Let's see. Yeah, it seemed to work all right. This is that thicker, um, what would you call it? Uh, wax canvas. Let's, uh, let's double it up and give it a try. That seemed to work pretty great. 
There, no, no more oil on that one. Went through two, no problem. How far can they go? Can it do four? Four layers of wax canvas. I don't know, that's crazy. That's crazy, he's out of his mind. That's, that's really thick. <laughs> All right, here we go. Not a problem. That's exciting. Didn't even sweat going through four layers of this wax canvas. That looks really good. That's exciting. Now for comparison's sake, let's um let's I'll show you what full speed looks like. <laughs> this is what this is what terrified me. Full speed, go. <laughs> Guess it's not that fast. Still though, I'm gonna really enjoy having that sort of variable speed control there. There it is. This thing is a champ. I can't wait to try it out on leather and some other more robust materials. There you go, a quick little shop update, little machine update, and now I'm very excited to use this machine while earlier I was just a little bit intimidated. This is gonna be an awesome addition to our arsenal. Uh, I may go and make another one of these uh, those bags out of this wax canvas because it's really nice and have a ton left over. We'll see, I don't need more bags. Uh, I do, however, need to practice uh, because we'll be making some costumes with this machine. We've got uh, Dragon Con later this year. We're gonna aim to get some new costumes done for that. We have, let's see, it's February now and that's in August. So we have about six months to get that done. And now we're prepared. Thanks for hanging out with me in the shop today. Always a pleasure having you along. I appreciate it. We especially appreciate the support from the members of our Extra Credit Club, whether it's here on YouTube memberships or over on Patreon. Can't do it without you. Thanks so much for keeping us fed. That'll wrap it up for me. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next build.